Friendly Neighborhood Gamer here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you three glitches that I use quite often in the game. Now, before I get into the video, I just want to say Bethesda needs to step up their game, and they need to come out with some new and great content. Yeah, the Mothman event is pretty cool, but they need to come out with some better stuff, a new storyline, more NPCs that are more engaging throughout the wasteland. They need to come out with some new and bigger updates that actually changes the map as a whole or so you can travel to a new different part of the map or a whole new map in general because it is getting pretty old traveling to the same locations over and over. But that's just my thoughts. Anyway, sorry for ranting, I just had to get that off my chest. This game has been heading in a downward motion for some time, so yeah, let's just get straight into the video. Okay, first up we have the nuclear keycard glitch, which I use pretty much on a weekly basis to launch nukes and get unlimited keycards. So of course it's at the White Springs bunker, and then what you're going to do for this is basically you're going to be repeating a quest to get unlimited key cards from the cargo bot that you destroy to get them in the Enclave bunker. So anyways, make your way into the vault like I do and just follow the path like I do. However, I have gone over this before, but I still get a lot of questions about this on how to get nuclear key cards. This is my most effective method on how to get them and pile them up. You can also sell them for a pretty penny and make a nice amount of caps off them as well. So basically all you're doing if you haven't done this quest before is you're going to the military wing of the bunker and then you're activating the quest to draw the cargo bot into the map so you can destroy it and get the key card from it. So once I get enough of these for myself, I usually stockpile them and then sell them for about two to 400 caps, depending on how fast I wanna sell them because it's really quick money and people usually buy them pretty fast. So once you're at this terminal, you're gonna select the top option and then it's going to pop it up on your map. You're going to find it on your map and then you're going to go to that location. Of course, I'm sure you've already done this. You're going to then shoot down the cargo bot to get the key card. Okay, so this is the important part. Once you get it shot down, you're gonna make your way over to the box. And then right before you're going to open the box, you're going to go into your pit boy and then you're going to go into the quest tab, as I show here, and then you're going to press X to leave the quest and get rid of it. Not just click out of it, you're going to get rid of the quest and abandon it, so that way it will pop up once you join a new server. And when I say abandon the quest, there's usually a button with inside your pit boy that you can click to abandon the quest, not just leave the quest by clicking off of it, by actually abandoning the quest altogether. So once you've done that, once you've abandoned, and now you're going to leave the quest, you're going to join a new server, and as you can see in the top right corner, you get the hide and seek and destroy quest active again. And you can rinse and repeat as many times as you want by joining new servers each time you do this. So the second glitch, we are going to have the merge item glitch on the shelves. So what you do for this is you get an item that you want to merge. You'll put it on the top of your shelf. Once you have it on the top of your shelf, you're going to find a place in the ground where the shelf goes down into the ground a little more. This is going to cause your item to go slightly down onto the shelf. So if you want this item to be on a different level of your shelf, as you can see, I got it to the second level of the shelf. You're going to want to find that unstable ground, move it, and then place it where that unstable ground is kind of where it goes down into the ground just a little bit and as you can see it moves it down each time I move and place the item. So for example I'm just going to try and get it to that bottom level shelf. You kind of have to do this with trial and error because sometimes it moves a little more than you think it will. So you just keep moving it and placing it and as you can see I almost have it to the bottom shelf there but I think I get it a little too low. I have it, actually have it under the shelf on this last placement but as you can see this does work. And the last one that is still working is, of course, the Wes Tech Super Mutant Spawn, where you can farm over and over, getting XP and legendary weapons. So for this one, you're just farming the Super Mutants in West Tech, and then you're going into the basement to get them to respawn as level 100 Super Mutants up above. So you can farm this area like I do, or you can do the whole building. I just like to do this area because it's a little bit faster. Then you can go down into the basement, and then you can get the level 100 Super Mutants, which is going to give you the max XP per kill for the Super Mutants. 
So of course you get into this elevator, you're going to go down into the basement, and then you're gonna wanna spend at least 50 seconds to a minute down here to get them to spawn up above. And there's going to be super mutants that spawn down here, so you're gonna wanna make sure you kill all of them because sometimes it can mess up the spawn upstairs. So make your way past these doors, and then you're gonna wanna go through these other doors and make sure you kill any remaining super mutants that are in here, just so it doesn't mess up that spawn. And if you have some extra time, check the containers because there is a few spawns for technical data down here as well. And as you can see, I go back and forth because sometimes there's one super mutant that spawns in a little late, so sometimes it'll either spawn right by the elevator or he'll spawn in this room, and you wanna make sure you kill him. It's not 100% necessary, but usually the glitch works better if you do kill him. So usually I'm going to pop a Barry Mentatch just so I can see where he spawns. And you'll usually make my way back and forth just till I get to that 50 seconds to a minute mark just to see that he has either spawned in that other room or spawned by the elevator. I don't have much buffs on right now because I'm just using this as an example. But anyways, as you can see, he does end up spawning right by the elevator, and I'm right about at the minute mark, so I'm going to go back up. And as you can see, the super mutants are going to spawn level 100 up in the area up above. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to do a short few glitches that are still currently working and that are nice to use. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you guys next time. Hit the damn subscribe button already.